weeks of frigid weather are creating massive sheets of ice on the Great Lakes. It's happening a month earlier than normal. As Dean Reynolds reports, crews are racing to keep critical shipping lanes open. You know it's cold when you see Coast Guard icebreakers on the Great Lakes and it's still autumn. But single digit temperatures are forcing them into action on Lake Superior. The Great Lakes shipping industry does about 20% of its business in the cold weather months and the vessels need a clear path through the ice. Cruise liners are affected too. In Lake Michigan now, they are frozen in place. We're aboard the city of Chicago's tugboat called the Commissioner, which is out on the water three weeks earlier than usual because serious ice has begun to form. The concern for a lot of the commercial shippers is they just simply can't get their boats in and out to transfer goods. So that's Philip Willink is a research biologist at Chicago's Shedd Aquarium. He was along for the ride as the commissioner shattered the spreading ice in the city's Burnham Harbor. If the ice freezes to the dock, it has the potential to rip it apart. So what they do is they use this tug to break up the ice like what we're doing right now. But Willink says the ice has actual benefits for the lake. Years of below average moisture have dropped lake levels. The ice can at least help preserve the water that's there. You think there's a positive side to all of this ice? The ice acts as a blanket and sort of traps the water in the lake, preventing it from evaporating away. So the ice cover is actually helping to raise lake levels. Positive or negative, next week temperatures are supposed to drop into the teens, which is a sure bet there will be a lot more ice to deal with. For CBS This Morning, Dean Reynolds, Chicago.